This third time they came down there in a matter of hours. They ride gear, you know, and this and that. Now they lined up outside Low Mar cell. Now keep in mind, you didn't pass up four or five more cells, but you had Low Mar cell. We in the middle. You got some more cells before you get to us. Right. Why you lined up outside that brother cell? As I seen him going to Low Mar cell, he didn't see what I seen on the side of the wall. It was some more guards lined up, sticks, shields, helmets, you know, ready to do battle. They lined up, man, they got, uh, look like guns and, and all type of stuff. They went in on the brother, had him subdued, had him handcuffed. And what really caused this ride this particular day, once he was handcuffed, one of the guards took the sticks and hit him in his head. Blood gash out of his head. I'm right there, I got tears in my eyes because I tell him, look, give me some of that just to take them off of him. So one of the guards said, don't worry about it. Y'all got some of that coming. You know what I mean? He said, I'm seven. So I look over there, no blood gushing out of brother head, cuff behind his back, man. They're beating them into a pass for the, for the solid oak club. That's the beating, they drug him out of his cell and then drug him down the range of the kill, he did, uh, the, the kill of the range for all the other prisoners to see. And everybody thought he was dead. They thought he was dead. Hey man, somebody go uh, tell, hey man, they're trying to kill us down here. Once John Coleman got the word of what's taking place, somewhere down that line, him and his brother named Christopher Trotter met up. So now they come and trying to see what's going on in this particular unit. 